So my name is Ahmed El Madawi. I'm a child psychiatrist and director of the interventional psychiatry program at Beacon Hills in Indiana. And I'm here to talk about TMS. Um, TMS or transcranial magnetic stimulation, it's non-invasive treatment using a pulse that is calculated to treat areas in the brain to we would think it's actually responsible for depression circuit. So by using a magnetic field localized to avoid systemic side effect from medication, we can actually change the circuit that is actually causing depression. Basically, there is a magnetic coil that is actually placed on the patient's head and radiate a specific magnetic pulse to target area in the brain that we localize and we think it's actually responsible for depression. The session itself, it's around like 37 minutes or like half an hour. During this time, the treatment targeting this area, what we think is for depression. And we would like to do is identify this area in the first session and then try to repeat over and over these pulses throughout the 36 or 37 sessions for half an hour every day. So it's non-invasive, there's no pain involved, there's no anesthesia. It is not like ECT or shock treatment, as people will say, it is the same like ECT. In fact, it is totally different. I have patients who did not respond to ECT, who end up actually doing well with TMS, and vice versa. Um, patient who did not respond to medication, and it is very concerning because depression, unfortunately, affecting over millions of Americans and 4.5 million they did not respond to medication. That's why TMS adding huge value to our practice as a psychiatrist or mental health provider. Um, TMS has been around for a while actually and uh, in fact the new star uh, TMS uh, device received the first FDA approval in 2008 um, and at which now it's been there's almost many like over hundreds of uh, machines or devices around the states. Um, there is another thing that we need to talk about is the insurance coverage because many patients and actually providers they are misled about it. They said well if this treatment is too expensive for the patient I, I wonder if it's covered by insurance. In fact for many years now there's many insurance companies and even national insurance like like Medicare and TRICARE they now have policy underneath the cover of TMS treatment. So a patient can afford it now through the insurance uh, providers and I think it's now adding uh, like a new era to treat depression. The difference between um, TMS and medication, there are actually many studies showing that TMS had the least amount of side effect and issues in terms of the long term unlike medication. The other thing of TMS, now we think about depression as inflammatory process or what we call it neuroplasticity. It's not just chemical imbalance. So TMS has shown to change this neuroplasticity and return back to normal. That's really exciting for us because back of my uh, background, I'm a child psychiatrist. We know during the early stage of depression, especially if you get the symptoms early on in your young adult, it's very hard to treat. So the early intervention, it is valuable in this early stage of the illness. So there's another study right now running, it's a multi-center study and uh, I'm one of the principal investigators for the study to evaluate TMS treatment as a valuable option to treat adolescent's depression. We have a concerns about that. Adolescent's depression is one of the most like widespread illness. Uh, mental health in adolescents actually increased uh, three or four times for the last six years. Now we have over 11.5% of adolescents have mental health in the United States alone. So here's the shocking number. 80% of those patients, they did not receive adequate treatment for their depression. So if I tell you there is 80% of patients with diabetes, you don't get treated. That will be concern for everybody. But yet, this big elephant in the room where you have a young adult, teenagers, who are 
having symptoms of depression, they fell in school, they become recruited and cannot even participate in social activities and have the concerning thoughts of suicide and family try to brush it off saying this is just a weakness, they just are like not listening well and those really symptoms could hinder their progress and become pervasive over a long time. That's why TMS could actually offer solution because among all medications we try for depression for young adults only have two medications if they are approved, just two. So the rest is off-label use. That's why TMS is playing a huge role to treat those young adults. In fact, before we start the trial, I had in my clinic a 19 years old patient who dropped out from high school, he stayed home, very good parents and very concerned about him and they were talking about how they maybe want to do ECT treatment for him because he was dysfunctional. Now, after he finished almost six months for a TMS therapy, he's now back to college. He actually started college and he's doing great. That's what the value of TMS now we think as a child psychiatrist will add on, especially hopefully we'll get this FDA label to push all the way down to 12 years and older. So.